Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you an audio analysis trick in Touch Designer. How to count every time your audio input reached a specific threshold, and we are going to count that value, and then remap that count to a usable range that can be used to drive the position of your visuals. We are going to do that with an example of my project file, and first let's take a look at how the visual looks. Basically, I want to use the audio file to drive the position of the rectangular in the background. And I want whenever the audio reach to a certain threshold, uh, this background is being able to shift. In the visual part, the background shift is inside my feedback loop here, uh, which is the transform X, TX, uh, decide the position of the rectangular. And I normally do, I would remove, uh, remove this one for now. I will experiment with the visuals, uh, how does it look like with certain values. And then I will remember that value and try to recreate that with the chop family. I want, in this case, I want the range from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5. And how to get that value uh, in the audio, I will show you now. Uh, you have uh, your audio file in or whichever audio input you have. And you can either use the audio analysis component from Touch Designer. And normally uh, I drag the high and remap it to a usable range. You can do that. Here I'm using my custom component, which is made uh, based on the audio analysis component. I simply uh, put out the parameters I normally use for easy access. So it works the same, but I standardize the value to whatever range of the high to uh, 0 to 1. And for example, you can remap to 0 to 10 to fit your need. But in this case, we just keep a default uh, 0 to 1 to 0 to 1. All right, for this visual, I'm only using the high to drive everything for the record. Now we're going to map the high. Um, uh, you can connect it to a trail to see how it looks like. Now it's ranging from 0 to 1, but different values. And then decide a threshold. So for example, in this case, I'm saying whenever it's over 0 0.6, count as 1. To do that, you need a logic. Uh, in the beginning, I thought it's should be using trigger, but a trigger doesn't work. It gives me a range rather than the on and off value. And I learned that trick from a uh, from Reddit. I will show you here. I will post uh, the post here. So very helpful. So basically, we say the trigger chop doesn't do the job, and instead recommend using the logic one. And you need to use the off when outside bounds. Since now our high is from 0 to 1, uh, you decided the, the threshold you want. So for me, it's whenever it pass 0 0.7, I want a count. So in here, the bound 0 0.7 to 1. Now you can see whenever, yeah, with this, it will give me a 1. And then connect it to a count, uh, which we set here. As you can see, it will keep increasing the value for me. But if you remember, we want the value from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5. So how to do that, you can use the limit here, loop between mix and maximum. I will put 2 and 5. And you can add another mass here to, to divide it by, by 10. And multiply by 0 0.1. Then you get the 0 0.2 to 0 0.5. Uh, we can change the name position, right? And then we just chop this value to the transform here, translate. So now you have it. Um, yeah, that's the tip um, of today. So hope you enjoy and uh, see you next time.